Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about some of the breath training that I do. I do it about three to four times a week and I've actually seen a difference in my free diving and in my ability to hold my breath because of it. So I thought we'd have a chat about it. Let's tuck in. Hey guys, so as I was saying, this breathing has helped me a lot. One, when I look at how I do my statics, I'm able to hold longer, it feels like it's more controlled, and somehow it has more peace. Um, and two, I never used to be able to exhale fully through my nose, and now I can, and I feel like I've got just better control of my lungs. I don't even know what that means, but it works for me, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So, the what it's called is pranayama but i think what's always important is to not focus on so much you know do your research see what it's about see if it works for you and take it from there what is pranayama pranayama is the practice of regulating it's the practice of learning how to regulate your breathing and regulating your energy and for me i can feel the difference immediately when i wake up from doing from practice and I know when I haven't, so there's definitely something to it. Well, guys, let's go straight into it. I think, yeah, and then we can chat a little bit afterwards. This is the first exercise. So guys, with the first exercise, what's always important is to sit in a nice upright position, have a nice straight spine, be comfortable, and then you're able to practice. Um, so what I normally do is I, based on what I've learned, um, I use my ring finger and my thumb to... Right, so that's how I practice. And you can actually use any finger, whatever, whatever is most comfortable for you. But that's how I learned and that's how I do it. Maybe when you start, look to breathe at a ratio of one to one. So if you're breathing in for four seconds, breathe out for, for another four seconds. How I do it is I do it at a, rate, at a ratio of one to two. So I breathe in for four seconds and I breathe out for eight seconds and I breathe in for four seconds and I breathe out for eight seconds, alternating the nostrils. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And the second exercise, let's have a look. So guys, with the second exercise as well, I still use the same um, technique, my thumb, my ring finger, my thumb, my ring finger. Um, and number two, again, another straight spine, but what's also important here is when you hold, hold within your limit. So maybe you can breathe in for four, hold for four, exhale for four, hold for four, right? So how I do it, I breathe in for four, hold for 16 counts and then I breathe out for eight. So it's again a ratio of one to two, but I'm holding for 16 seconds odd. Sometimes I lose my counting as you guys saw in the video. And the third exercise, let's have a look.
So in this exercise, you'll also see that again, you're breathing in and out through your nose. Uh, but what's most important is that here you're making this beautiful ocean-like sound from your throat area. And I just, it gives me such calm. It like takes me to the sea. Also because I'm so far from the sea. So I just, I love that breath because it's nice and it's slow and it's controlled and it's beautiful. Um, and again, I think it's just a nice straight back, taking your time and being relaxed. And essentially the lady in the video, um, how she says, she says, if you had to try and fog a glass, you would go like this. And essentially you're doing the same thing, but just with your mouth closed. It's beautiful. And the last exercise is my most intense exercise. And to be honest, I actually keep this to a minimum. Let's have a look. breathing in nicely through your nose and forcing the air out um, through your nose again. So with Kapal Bhati, I find that it's a very intense exercise. So I usually don't do it for more than two minutes. So even if I do two minutes, I'll do a minute, take a break and do another minute. For me, that is, I think that is so, it's so important to practice that enough so that you feel comfortable and confident doing it. But also if you get any kind of dizziness, stop and then just work up towards your body being able to handle it. So I only do four of the many that there are. So you guys, I'm going to link below some of the, I'm going to link below some of the YouTube videos that actually show how to do pranayama properly and um, the different kinds of pranayama exercises that there are, and you can decide what's best for you. Um, anyway, guys, so that's the video for today with, with, with all of this breath training, I always start with my nice uh, deep inhale, long exhale, ratio of one to two. That's how I always started with my, mo with my nose fully open. And then I go into the exercises. So for my first exercise, I usually do it for about five minutes. The second exercise I do for a bit longer because there's 16 counts in between. So it's about eight to 10 minutes. The third one is another like five minutes and Kapalbati, the last one, is very short, like two minutes. And then I drink water and I carry on with my day. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please let me know if there's any exercises that you do every day that have helped your free diving, that have helped your breath holes. I would absolutely love to hear about it and just try it out because essentially we're a community that's learning together. Thank you so much for watching. Please do give my video a like. Don't forget to subscribe and have a fantastic week. Cheers.